Welcome back to this day. Joining us now with Caring Senior Service is owner Dean White. And Dean, always such a pleasure to see you. Yeah, Bobby, it's so great to see you. Yeah, so tell us um, a little background for those that don't know, a little bit yeah. of background about Caring Senior Service. Yeah, Caring Senior Service, we provide caregivers and they come into the home. Our tagline is that we want every senior to be um, um, healthy, happy, and at home. And uh, we know that, like I have, a, I have a client named Donna, She's 95 years old. She's been in this house for over 50 years. Wow. And she just wants to stay in her house. She doesn't want to be put um, in a facility. She wants to do everything she can. And so we provide caregivers that come in, help her with breakfast and lunch and do, do her meds and do some things around the house for her. Yeah, that's wonderful. You know, and, and to it means so much to stay in your own house. Nobody, you know, wants to go to a facility if they, you know, if they don't have to. So Correct, yeah. that's wonderful that you offer the opportunity to keep people independent and be able to keep them in their homes. You said the word independent. Yeah. We really, it's really, we don't want to give up our independence. And so often, you know, um, my mom, she loved to garden, uh, you know, and when that was something that when she couldn't use her hands as well, and my sisters and I would go over to her and say, Mom, let's garden together. Such a joy came back to her because that was part of who she was. Aww. And so if we can provide caregivers that provide that independence, you know, um, either help the person garden or help the person cook or anything that makes them, you know, for the, what their own unique abilities are, yeah. right? We want to enhance that. That's wonderful. Is that what motivated you to get into this field? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I um, I had a, just an amazing mom, and um, just she raised all five of us kids. I have four older sisters. Wow. And um, my mom um, struggled with cancer towards the end of her life, and you know all the things that she loved, you know, were taken away from her slowly. Yeah. And so when I saw what my sisters did and how a caregiver can come and bring back the independence mm. and bring back life, that made, meant so much to me. Yeah. You know, you, you, I love my mom. I wanted to give her as much life as possible. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I love that, that you guys were all there for her to mm -hmm. help her and take care of her. So uh, when, when should somebody start looking for a caregiver? That's a really good question because we have um, some clients that are very young um, you know, we even have a client that's 32 that's going through chemo and just needs help around the house. Mm -hmm. And then we've had um, some people who are in their 40s that get cosmetic surgery and, you know, after a little tummy tuck, you can't tie your shoes for two weeks. And so we yeah. bring so a caregiver in for that. But the majority of our, care, our clients are between 70 and, and 95. And usually what the first signs are some dementia or... Um, you know, other forgetfulness, or they're forgetting to take their medication, or maybe the, the kids of the um, elderly person start seeing that mom or dad aren't eating. And it's really hard. They have their own lives with their own kids, and here mom or dad are starting to struggle. Yeah. And so it's good to introduce somebody, even if it's four hours a week early, early on. And so, um, as we all know, when we're alone, we get lonely. Um, where they get some, we have some clients that are just fearful at night. Yeah. And so we bring a caregiver there into the house over, overnight. And then while the person sleeps, they are cleaning the house, they're doing laundry, they're making breakfast for the next day. They're definitely staying busy. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I always wondered in the middle of the night, are you, yeah, are you just, wait, you know, there in the next room waiting to see if they need you? Or So that's good to know that there are other tasks that they will be performing at that time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We want our caregivers to be working at all times. Okay. And so, uh, you know, it's interesting how you said, uh, you know, to keep people independent and to keep them in their homes. I mean, I know when I was looking for a new home a few years ago, like, we really wanted to find, like, a multi-generational home. Oh, and sure. And there were certain areas that did have where they had, like, the mother-in-law suites were a separate entrance in their own kitchen, living room, but still connected to the family. And so, but that's not something that majority of people are able to have. So this is so nice to have, you know, peace of mind knowing, hey, I can get some help for someone to be there because I can't go move in with mom. It's very, very difficult. And, and then even those that mom does live with them, we still have our jobs True. and mom needs to go to the doctors. We, our caregivers will take them to the doctor, take notes, and then bring those back into the home so that, you know, and then we send them to the family so they know what the doctor said. Yeah. And so those kind of peace of mind is really big for families. 
I love that. I love that they take notes so you know exactly, you know, what's happening or what's their schedule or did they eat, didn't they eat, you know, how, how has the day gone? I used to do that um, on occasion when I worked when my kids were babies. I had a full on thing. When did they last eat? When did they last sleep? You know, how long were they awake? <laughs> it's really big. Um, there's, we have, um, we take copious notes and then those notes are sent to the families. But then um, when, the, when the mom or dad, I mean, when the, the kids take their mom or dad to the doctor, mm -hmm. sometimes they take the notepad with all the notes so we can see a record of blood pressure and how their eating habits are and all those things that you just mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. What are all the things that a caregiver can do? There's a lot. And so we, um, the main things are, you know, it's, it's going to be companionship, some meal preparation, um, medical reminders, and so they'll organize all the medicine and put them in front of me. It's time to take your medicine. Um, some medicines need to be locked up, and so we keep them locked up so they don't take too much. Um, a lot of times it's help to the bathroom, and sometimes it's in the bathroom. Sometimes help for showers. Um, a lot of it is monitoring things, and and then a lot of times it's it's driving to the store or to the park. We have a we have a caregiver. I have a client, um, Ray, that every Sunday he likes to be taken to Costco so he can buy flowers, and then, he, then the caregiver drives him over to the mortuary so he can bring flowers to his wife. Aww, Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. And so they, could, they really become alongside the family so that the family has a peace of mind that mom or dad are being taken care of. That is so wonderful. I love that. So yeah. any other stories of clients that you have here in the village? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a client. Um, I think I brought up last time is, you know, Kay, we have a, a caregiver that comes every day with Kay, and it's wonderful that she it gets to know that somebody's going to come visit me, that um, someone's going to help me prepare, you know, lunch for me, do some things around the house, and, that's, and, the, and then the person's gone, and that they were able to come in, provide her some care. Oh, they take her to get her hair done every other week. Oh, nice. And, and it's a really wonderful story. Um, and then we have others that need more help and others that need less, but it's been really wonderful to be in Laguna Woods. Just even the coming to help prepare a meal. I know with my own mom, who's now, uh, my dad passed, so it's just my mom, and it's lonely. She's like, I don't want to cook for just one person, you know, so mm -hmm. her, you know, she's not cooking big, nice meals, and she just told me the other day, she goes, well, I finally broke down and, and made, like, uh, salmon and whatever for myself. You know, she didn't want to make nice meals, nutritious meals for herself. She would just end up grabbing something. Yeah, and then that becomes so unhealthy for them, yeah. and then we just see their health deteriorate, where um, Christelle goes and sees uh, Lois, and she makes her lunch, and then Lois, it's really important that they sit down together and they have lunch together. And then um, also she does some grocery shopping for her as well. Um, but we do everything from that to people who are bed bound and need diaper changes and body massages and um, you know baths in their bed, so. Is it, do you find more that it's as people are aging and just need the extra help or, or is it equal with like you were saying about, oh, I just had surgery or that kind of thing, or you know, I'm injured and, and need help. Yeah, I would say we have a good gamut of all of them. Okay. Um, um, we probably have some clients that are 24 seven, that they need somebody by their side at all times. And then we have some clients that are as, as easy as, uh, just need a doctor's appointment, or um, we come by once a, once a week for four hours. And, so, and it's the whole gamut. Yeah. And it's really just come, when it comes down to who's going to help mom or dad or who's going to help me um, on a regular basis and, and then it can be you know, noted down. Is it a trustworthy company that's fully insured, fully bonded? Are the caregivers fully background checked? You know, all those things are very, very important. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're getting ready to uh, be summertime. A lot of people yes. take vacations. So, uh, you know, how can family, how can you help families for this? This is a big one. We're getting so many requests right now. Um, graduations. Mm. And so the gentleman, Ray, I just mentioned earlier, um, his grandsons just graduated. And so um, a caregiver took him to the graduation, came back, and um, the family was able to go to the graduation, stay overnight, and not worry about their, their dad. And then, um, and then we had another family going to Ireland that was gone for 10 days. Wow. And so they go, gosh, we haven't been able to go on a vacation for 15 years because mom has slowly had more dementia throughout the years. 
Um, and they contacted us and they got back and they said, we had an amazing trip and we got daily notes on what's going on with mom. So thank you so much. Oh, that's that wonderful. Beautiful? I love that. That is so great. Well, thank you, Dean, so much for being here. Such great information. And, and obviously, you're helping a lot of people. Thanks, Bobby. I always love coming. Good. Well, if you're feeling like you want some help, either for yourself, your spouse, or around the house, call Dean for a free consultation. A caregiver could enhance, encourage, and extend your life. Call Caring Senior Service at either of the numbers on the screen, or you can check them out online at caringseniorservicelw.com. Stay with us. We have the Theater Guild coming up right after this.